What's your question, Tommy? Where you at? Your motivation guy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, pumped up more than ever because we got a brand new season ahead of us. Listen, today I'm gonna bring you guys the latest and greatest developments in the Fortnite competitive community. Are you guys adjusting to the new meta? Miss your deagles and your alien rays? We do too, but a new season is always a brand new chance to shake some things up. Today we're gonna be comparing shotguns, and so with the start of Chapter Two, Season Eight, the charged shotgun has been unvaulted once more. So be prepared to find those around the island. You know, what's more is like, we got two other shotguns in the loot pool, such as the always fan favorite, the pump shotgun, and the lever shotgun. With so many options, it's just important that we know the ups and the downs of each of our choices. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this going. Here we go, let's get this going, the pump. You know, there are so many reasons to love the pump shotgun. You know, it's got that good old angry farmer look to it. And the part we all love, the ability to one hit kill players when used correctly. Because of this, I mean, it's become the go-to shotgun for many pro players in the competitive scene. In fact, there are even training resumes on creative mode that players can do to improve their aim and increase their chances of getting that 200 pump shot. You know, the pump has proven itself quite handy in a variety of different situations from early game, one shotting to late game box fighting. You know, it can get you out of a jam when you're, you know, toe to toe with the building expert and you only have one opening to get that direct hit in. You know, no matter what level that you're on in Fortnite, guys, you have the potential to improve and become one of the greats. I'm telling you, you do. But you might need a little help in your journey. And so that's why our team of world-class coaches really comes into play. You know, they're available 24-7 to help you guys improve. And all you need to do is click the link in the description to get the proguides.com. With our coaches, you're going to achieve your potential in no time. All right, guys, so next up, we have the charged shotgun. The charged shotgun is all about patience. You know, it has a high damage output in exchange for the slow rate of fire. However, when the shot lands, man, it hits hard. So even if it takes you a bit longer to shoot your shot, the wait is definitely worth it. You know, while the pump shotgun is all about getting that quick shot in a moment's notice, the charge shotgun is all about planning and thinking your next few plays in advance. So one downside to the charge shotgun is the inability to build while charging up your shot. You know, if you're not careful, it can leave you vulnerable to getting absolutely sprayed and possibly eliminated. Fortunately, we're here today to really teach you guys how to get the best out of your weapons so things like that don't happen. All right, the lever shotgun is like the pump's less popular little brother. <laughs> in fact, it was originally introduced as a replacement for the pump. However, now it can be found in the same loot pool and might actually be growing in popularity lately. You know, the lever shotgun does pretty good damage on the body, but has less of a multiplier in terms of headshots. This is, you know, not the weapon that will get you that one hit kill. So, you know, if you're looking for the same functionality as the pump, this is definitely not it. However, that doesn't mean that you should just sell it down the river just yet. While it may not have the same one shot, you know, damage output as the pump, it's just a nice in-between gun if you just want more stable damage counters and also really keeps your distance. You know, the lever shotgun may not have the ability to just one hit kill players like its older brother, but you know, it is definitely great at knocking down enemy shields in a single shot. And so this can definitely psych out your opponents, leaving them defenseless against your other weapons. You know, even if you don't have that clear head shot is still a weapon that's definitely feared. All right, guys, so let's take a moment to really look at some of the in-depth statistics of our shotguns. All right, so there's plenty to really look at, and it's definitely gonna help shape your decisions for the season going forward. You know, in some cases, it just all boils down to the number of differentials, right? So let's just start with the damage outputs. All right, we're gonna be going from gray all the way to that golden color we all love. All right, so pumps, it's 70, 80, 90, 100, and 110. Charge, uncharge, 80, 85, 90, 94, 98. Lever shotgun, 88, 93, 98, 103, and 108. All right, so just keep in mind that these numbers are for an uncharged shotgun. Yeah, that's right. Despite our mind sometimes automatically just wanting to charge a shotgun, you know, it's not a requirement to really use the weapon. You know, this means that depending on the scenario that you guys get into, you know, a quicker shot in for less damage or, you know, just charge it up all the way for the maximum damage at the right opportunity. Even during a firefight, like you don't need to charge it all the way. You can release the shot much earlier, but still get in more damage than the standard quick fire. You know, the pump shotgun can be absolutely abysmal in ranged combat. You know, this is the only true downside of using the pump. And so to get the most out of this weapon, you're going to want to rely solely on close combat. You know, get close to your opponent and just hit them at point blank range. Usually these encounters happen pretty quickly. So start getting accustomed to getting your one shot in that. 
You know, that 1.7x damage multiplier for headshots is what you're going to want to go for. All right, so on the other hand, the lever shotgun is an interesting balance between fire rate, range, and damage. If you're looking for a shotgun that doesn't require you to be in super close proximity to your opponent or you know you you know timing your shot with your charge, then the lever shotgun is an interesting choice to definitely try out. Okay, so as you can see, this season is starting off with a very slow shotgun meta with the tactical shotgun vaulted for the time being, so we need to take any speed differences we can get. The charged shotgun is considered the slowest weapon in this category for sure. You know, the thought of charging up your shot before releasing it can seem too slow for any newcomers to consider using it. You know, however, like I will say this, the charged shotgun has a bit more functionality the more you use it. You know, double click that fire button to get faster shots out. And you might need to get adjusted to just clicking twice. However, once you do, using this weapon is gonna feel a lot more natural. Regardless though, it's still the slowest shotgun in today's meta. But hey, I mean, that's the price that you pay for some pretty serious damage. The lever shotgun, on the other hand, is the fastest. It has pretty decent damage, but not as much as a charge shotgun. You know, in return, you can fire more often. You know, if you want a more consistent fire rate with higher base damage than the pump, then you're going to want to pick up the lever shotgun. You won't have to worry about charging it up to those, you know, triple digit damage numbers, and you're going to be able to get a second shot in faster than a second pump shot. So the pump shotgun falls in between the charge and the lever in terms of fire rate. However, I will say this, at close range, a well-trained box fighter would sometimes, you know, not even need to fire a second time. This is the power of the pump, and it's why so many players train to use it. The pump shotgun has a five second reload time at the expense of one less ammo count. Luckily, as the pump increases in rarity, it gains a really short reload time at 3.7 seconds for the legendary pump. You know, the charge shotgun has the smallest magazine with only three shots per clip. This means that if you plan to make heavy use of the charge shotgun, you're gonna be reloading more often than if you just were using the other shotguns in the loop pool. Once again, this is the price you pay for having a very powerful weapon. You know, if you're playing squads and you know you wanna make the best use of a charged shotgun, consider just pairing it up with another player just wielding a different type of shotgun. This is gonna give you guys more opportunities to make a comeback and keep that shotgun combat viable. So the lever shotgun has the slowest reload time clocking in at 6.6 .6 seconds for a common and 5.4 seconds for a legendary. The trade-off is that, you know, it has the largest magazine size of the three as well as the increased fire rate. You know, it's a good trade if you're looking for a faster shotgun during chapter two, season eight. So now the question comes down to which shotgun is the most viable? All right, so like we said earlier, the charged shotgun has an amazing damage output. So if you can get it fully charged and land a hit, you can definitely see it being useful. However, it revolves around having slower gameplay since you need to think more when using it and even double clicking it just to get a quick shot out. So if you're in a build battle with someone else or in a box fight, the close range conditions might not really be ideal. Not saying that it can't be done, but in these situations, you wanna have the option of building structures to counter your opponent. This is especially vital if you really plan on being a pro Fortnite player. Hear me out, like I'm telling you. You know, it's just all about the build once you go to competitive. The pump shotgun, on the other hand, is great for those close range battles when you have to make a quick edit that leaves your opponent exposed. This is the go-to shotgun, so expect your opponent to try that same strategy against you. All right, so this brings us to the lever shotgun. You know, it might not get the one hit kill, but the boost in damage makes it a viable option even in box fights. You know, while pump shotguns require you to get up close to a player, to get the most out of them, the lever shotgun offers a little more breathing room without fully compromising the damage output. You know, that faster rate of fire can also be helpful when it comes down to who can get that first shot in. In the end, man, it feels like there's gonna be a split between lever shotgun users and pump shotgun users. You know, while the pump might be the fan favorite, the lever shotgun is just proving itself to be quite useful. And especially, you know, since some players are already asking for it to be nerfed, you know, like with the possibility for other shotguns to be unvaulted, later this season who knows what's gonna happen next all right bunch of girls tell me what do you guys think about the shotguns currently in rotation like do you guys like the new meta or are you missing some of those quicker shotties don't forget that you know you might have a chance later on this season to really vote on what weapons you get unvaulted in the future i'm excited about that so donate those gold bars whenever the opportunity arises in the meantime look we're gonna be covering the latest meta so you can take this to the next level with your fortnite career we believe in you guys once again this is your motivation guy and so uh connect to me anytime you want man on my instagram at your motivation guy we believe in you guys keep going never quit we'll see you on the next one peace <laughs>